welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do an everyday makeup routine. So this is what I'm going to be showing you. So right now we will skip aside and I'll show you my no makeup look. Prepare yourself, it's very scary. And this is me with no makeup. Scary, isn't it? Ah! I want to scream. The first thing that I do is my foundation. And it's the same one as always, the real one, because this is just lovely. It just lasts all day. Set this on. Blocked you out then, didn't I? <laughs> this has got a really good coverage. I just love using this one. It's amazing. Now I did put this on my makeup product collection video, uh, but for those of you that haven't watched it, I use the Rimmel Match Perfection and it's the shade of 201 Classic Beige and I go darker because I use tan and I would be light, I'd be probably number one, <laughs> be ivory because that's how pale I am, without my tan, super pale, like a ghost, I'd actually scare people on Halloween, you don't need anyone for Halloween, just me, without makeup on, <laughs> and tan on, without makeup and tan on. I just keep blocking you out. I mean, if I keep blocking you out, let's do it here. Okay, and then someone here. So yeah, I just really love this one because it's got a bit of a shine to it as well. I love the dewy face look. Okay, so then I just make sure that I've evened it all out and rubbed it all in okay then you have to ensure that you put some on your neck because otherwise you'll have a brown face and a white neck and no one wants that do they no. make sure that you rub it in on your jawline properly because you know, you've seen loads of girls where they've got that foundation line. And it's not a good look. So, make sure you rub it in. And then now, for the boobies. To match your boobs to your face and your neck. I go through loads of foundation, yes I do. <laughs> I do this every single day. I can't go outside without makeup. I have to have some sort of makeup on whether it's just foundation or a bit of concealer or some mascara because I do have long eyelashes but right now it just looks like I've got none okay so that is the foundation oh done so then now I go to the eyeshadow um, a lot of people do like concealer and stuff afterwards but I find that if I do the eyeshadow last after I've done all my face then it just the powder comes on the bottom of the eyes so I just leave the concealer to the last thing really so I'm going to use the naked because this is my favorite it's still my favorite out of all the palettes that I've got the first color I use is sin which is the second one this one I used to use this one all the time but it's like it's run out so this sin has got a bit of a shimmer to it a bit of glitter and I really like that I always like to have a light colour on the top. Okay, I'll put that all the way around. Shiny eyes. I like my nude colours for my everyday makeup that I just wear every single day. So I put on the light colour sin first and then I move on to book which is just a light brown so I use the other end of the brush use this one first and then I swap to this one to get that definition around the eyelids I'm going to use book the light brown one now I'm just going to put it on the outer corners of my eyes and around the crease of my eye and then just blend it in with the other side of the brush and then do the same on the other side. Blend. 
blended. Okay, and then I'm gonna go even darker. So then I use Hustle, which is this one, and this one's the darker brown. So, corner of the eye again. My eyes are actually watering today. They just hate it when you get watery eyes. And you do your makeup and then it just runs. Okay, so corner of the eyes. And in the crease. So I wear this most days. Some days I just wear like a light pink or just the shades in. Um, but I do like to have a smoky eye, so if I go out later at night time, then I use even darker than this, and I use the black, shimmery, glittery one, and I just go even more smoky on my eyes, because I just like that look. I think it defines your eyes, and it just looks lovely. Make sure you blend it in as well. Not on the crease that leads up to your eyebrow. It's like art doing makeup with me. I love it. And then I use the same dark colour and I put it underneath my eyelids. See, and this is why I don't do concealer first because, you know, you get some powder that drops down under your eyes. So it'd just be a waste of time and you'd have to do it all over again underneath your eyes. Oh, I just put myself in the eye. Now for the other eye. Put as much as you want in. I like it quite dark on the corners of my eyes and around the crease. As I said, I like, you know, smoky look. I love this mirror as well, so it's just a normal mirror, but like the switch done. So it lights up. So, it is good, but it's just really bright, so you have to put your face really close to it. Okay, and then put some under the eyelid again. Oh, I love my makeup. Where would us girls be without makeup? The excess underneath. I've actually moved my bedroom around so where I used to do it over there I can't do it anymore because the bed's there so I moved it around and so I'm doing it here just to test today what it's like but it's really bright and on a day when it's sunny which it won't be now because it's near the end of summer in a few weeks although it feels like it now um, but yeah so I'm just testing it with the lighting and just see how it works. So now I've done that I, or I add a little bit of that hustle just to my eyebrows. I don't bother too much with my eyebrows because I've got good hairy eyebrows. I don't have any gaps or anything. I've just got naturally hairy eyebrows. <laughs> there we go, and that's my eyebrows done. Not much difference because they're just hairy. Okay, and that's the eyeshadow all completed. And then I go to eyeliner, and I use a liquid eyeliner pen. I don't like the pencils because they're not dark enough. They come off in the day, so I just use a liquid eyeliner. And this one's from my favorite brand, Rimmel. So this one's called Scandal Eyes, and I always get like the dark black. So, Scandal Eyes get the dark black really really nice and I'll just put it all the way around I did want to put this on Bradley when I did his makeup video which I'll put up here if you haven't seen it um, but putting liquid eyeliner on a seven-year-old boy just wouldn't have been have worked out though So now then I go underneath my eye. This is where my eyes are usually watering like hell. 
I have to do it all again. There we go, so that's the first one. God, this is really glittery under my eyes today. Really glittery. Okay, so now for the other eye. I don't know what my favourite piece of makeup is. I think my favourite is concealer and mascara. So you tell me in the comments what your favourite piece of makeup is that you can't live without. That's the top down, now for the bottom. Make sure that they both kind of match. And voila! All good? Yeah, it's all good. Now for the mascara. Gara, and this is Rimmel. I said I was going to try a different brand, but I just don't. As soon as I go into the shop, I'm just like, yeah, I like this, this, and this, and this. So this one, I always have to get a extra volume one because, you know, I don't wear false eyelashes. And I just like them to just really come out and just really define the eyes. So this one is called Scandal Eyes. Oh, that one's called Scandal Eyes as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the same. Uh, reloaded, extra volume, and wear. So, this is the one, and I love it, but I also love a curved brush, but this isn't a curved brush, because I find that if you have a curved brush, mascara brush, then it makes your eyelashes curl out even more, um, and that's lovely what you want, see, so, but it's still good, it still makes my eyelashes really come out. I like to put a lot of mascara on. You know, when you look at the eye, you want to see your eyelashes just really long and volumized. I do anyway. And I'll just wiggle the brush so that it opens up all the hairs of your eye. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, and that's done. But I just feel amazing after I do my eyes. I don't know about yours. Awesome. Okay, now I do my concealer now. So I always use the Lasting Perfection from Collection 2000. Is it Collection 2000? It might just be Collection, but yeah. I would never move concealers from this. This is amazing. Really, really covers all your bags and your lines underneath. It's awesome. Okay, so I use um, Extra Fair Zero, although I probably could use a, a darker one to match my foundation, but I like to have a lighter under eye. So that's why I go lighter than the foundation that I use. So I'll just put it all around my eyes. God, I've got itchy nose today. My nan would say I'm getting a surprise. What's my surprise? Okay, so let's put it all the way across under your eyes. Just like that. <laughs> so now you can use the, the blender, um, but I just always use my fingers. But I think that it blends in better when I use my fingers. So I'll just dab it in. Don't rub it because it'll just rub it all off so if you do use your fingers just dab and the same with the blender as well just just dab it in it's difficult when you've got really really long nails okay and it's all blended in lovely and voila lovely so then I like to get my um, powder foundation from Rimmel. So this matches the liquid foundation. So it's a Silky Beige 005 um, and it goes nicely on top. So I use my Urban Decay brush and I just powder some around just to keep it, just to hold it there and to make it not look so shiny. Um, just so that it's a matte on your face. And it also stays on all day then. So it's just to add a little bit of protection. So I literally just dab, because if you brush it, then it's gonna, it's going to take off 
the concealer that you've just put on. And you don't want that, we have to do it again. There we go, lovely. So it's all blended in and it doesn't look too shiny, just it looks really nice and it feels lovely. It just feels good when you've got makeup on. Like if you don't wear makeup throughout the day, if I have a day when I'm not doing anything, I'm just cleaning the house or something and I don't put makeup on, you just feel different, you feel tired and you just feel, I don't know, I can't explain it, but when you've got makeup on, you feel really good. So now I use contour and I've bought some new one because if you remember from my last makeup video, I bought some from, I think it was Freedom, and, and the contour was okay, it wasn't the best, but the highlight just didn't highlight whatsoever. So I bought this one from Rimmel, and it's got the contour, the highlight, and also some blusher. It's the best one that I've used so far. So I add some contour with my contour brush, and this is an angled contour, number 162 from Urban Decay, and this is a really, really good brush to do your contour. So I just dab some on, like this, shake it off, just so that it doesn't come on too dark because this is a really dark brown contour. And then I just dab it in the middle of my cheeks, halfway down, just to add some definition to the cheeks. Because everyone wants cheekbones. Okay, and then the other side. I love this as well, I love. This is also one of my favorite pieces of makeup because I just think it adds definition to your face and it just put, brings it all together so I put some there and then I put some just around the edge up there around the edge of my face just to blend it all in on the edge of my nose just the excess and then I put some more on and then I put it underneath my chin Just all on the crease of your jawline. Get that double chin covered. <clears throat> okay. But make sure that you blend it in properly because you don't want your foundation and then your contour just is completely brown there. You, you need to blend it in so that you can't see it. Perfecto. I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Oh, I need to straighten them. Okay, so then I'm going to use the, the pink blusher and I'm just going to dab this end of the brush, so the pointy end of the brush, and I'm going to dab it in. And then just add a little bit of pinkness to my cheeks where I've just put the contour. Okay, and then next I'm going to add the highlighter on the top. So I add just on the top there of each cheek. And then I also add a little bit here and a bit on my nose and forehead. Just so it gives you just a tiny little bit of shine. Lovely. And then I get my flat brush. And I dab it in the highlighter and I just put a tiny little bit on my eyebrows, under my eyebrows even, just so it gives a little bit of shine there too. Okay, and that's the face done. So now I'm going to go to lipstick. I'm going to use the red lipstick today. I don't use lipstick every single day, but for my videos I do. So, because this is dark, I only add a little bit and then blend it in my thing finger. I just want a little bit of colour. I don't want too much. And voila! That's my everyday makeup look. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to click on the bell to be notified of my videos. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon. Bye!